what's the really big picture that we took away from this particular report this year? Uh, I don't think it'll come to a surprise to most of you that the store is in real trouble. Uh, but the really good news is that for the first time we've been conducting this report, I think it's nine years, maybe almost 10 in a row now, and Paula, had been, Paula and I had actually been collaborating on this report at a previous company before we started RSR, so we've been doing this for a long time. And for the first time, retailers are really telling us they're not burying their heads in the sand about it anymore. They understand they have a problem. Uh, the way that they know they're going to get past that problem is by empowering their employees. They recognize that they are the key to making stores interesting again. Um, but there is a whole lot they're going to have to deal with before they can really achieve that in any meaningful way. And that means they're going to have to start spending some money. And so far, they're fairly begrudging about it. But as, you, as you'll see when we go through uh, in detail, there are certain technologies that they're willing to start to spend money on. And if they're not already spending money, they know they're going to have to be in the near term. So here's the big picture. We usually start most surveys by asking people to agree or disagree with some fairly uh, all-encompassing statements. And as you can see here, the good news, uh, retailers recognize overwhelmingly when you combine the strongly agree, the blue, and the agree, the red, um, that in-store technology is going to help retailers compete with the online experience. They recognize that. That's good news. The second data point, they also recognize that if they don't pour that technology into, into stores, they're going to continue to erode their store sales. And that's a really big deal because the store is still, I know people talk about, you know, 92 or 93% of, of sales culminate in the store. That's great, but that is directionally moving away from that. Um, and it's still the largest investment that retailers have. So they recognize they have to do something about it. The third data point down is kind of a good news, bad news story. And here you can see that more than half of retailers say that their current store technology is simply not capable of enabling what they want the future store shopping experience to be. So again, there's going to be some give and take in some of the data that we share with you here today. The good news is there's a strong level of understanding. The good news is there's a strong level of desire to move towards what the future really should look like for stores so that they become more interesting. Uh, the bad news is they're technically not able to enable that experience quite yet.